ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. This week we are having a look at some MTZ mods, of which I have a few, and there's some work going on in the farm at the moment, because I do not quite have everything set up. So first of all, in tractors we have the MTZ 82.1, uh, 45,000 to buy, which seems quite high, 42 a day to own, and it's a 75 horsepower tractor. Um, that seems really expensive. 75 horsepower and default is less than 37,000 um, to buy. So yeah, that is just a very expensive tractor. <laughs> Second off, we have an MTZ, aka Belarus. They're one of the same company. Uh, MTZ 1221B. 54,000 to buy, uh, 50 day to own, and 133 horsepower. So let's buy this, and we'll make it orange. I don't quite know what that's going to change the colour of. They're off the MTZ underscore 52 at 2,500 to buy, 20 day to own, and 120 horsepower. This doesn't look good immediately. Um, Oh my god. Something's got a little call stack failure. Um, the 52 has a 2 to the N error. The 82 has DDS raw formats. What was that? The 52. To the inner, the 80. That one has a raw format. Oh, this one. This has some raw textures. Wonderful. Let's buy it. And to the inners as well. Hooray. It's the NTZ 80, 7500 to buy, 35 a day to own, and 80 horsepower. And I think that's, the, yeah, this is the last one of this section. Uh, the MTZ 892. Uh, 80,958 to buy, 56 a day to own, and it's 79 horsepower. <laughs> what? <laughs> and there's a load more. Oh dear. <sighs> load more log errors. Has it impacted my frame rate at all? No. Uh, one final thing, and I have no idea what this is going to be. It's actually two final things. It might be in Harvesters. Yes. RKS4s. These are based on MTZs, which you can guess the, t the theme now. Uh, 11,800 to buy, 115 a day to own, and they harvest both potatoes and sugar beets. The blue one harvests potatoes, the red one harvests sugar beets. That's what's being set up back in the farm. And I know their typers have already looked at these, but uh, I want to have a look at them as well. So, let's go down through the line here. And bring up collisions. What on earth is that? Yeah, that's the collision for that, that red triangle. Wonderful. Tires here don't have collisions. The top of the car. Oh, there's a massive lack of collision at the. That's the collisions are everywhere on this thing. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This one looks a bit better. Collisions are on the tires. It looks like there are twin wheels, which might be somewhere in Misk. No. Oh, hang on. This is a Belarus. Wait. So that's come from one of the mods. Uh, I'd best check everywhere now, because apparently things have thrown themselves in everywhere. Okay, I have checked everywhere. So this thing apparently has twin wheels. Uh, that's presumably selectable. Nice bit of detail in there on the uh, the engine bay. And that fan looks like it might spin. Yeah, the orange is a bit weird, but that's kind of my fault. <laughs> picking orange. I think that's supposed to be blue. Let's have a look at this one. The collisions are pretty basic. 
texture work is oh the texture work's actually quite nice. The models really nicely detailed. Um I don't like the wheels, gonna be honest, don't like the wheels on this one. And let's have a look at the rear three points of these three. Yeah, actually all quite nice. This this one is a bit monolithic in, in shape. And uh, well colouring. Uh this one is as well, I'd like a bit more detail. I think the lights are gonna be funky. On this one, this one's actually the nicest so far, um, except for the, the tires and wheels, which eh, it's kind of my issue. Uh, this one looks like it also has twin wheels. The collisions look actually quite good. It's Hungarian, apparently, and it looks like the top's been chopped off this one slightly. The eight nine two here has a weight on the front of it already. The collisions look okay and the detail work is actually quite nice. Now all of these all of these tractors came off uh, LS2015. These are um, quite nice basic potato and sugar beet harvesters. I'm setting up a field for them to be tested. So these will be done in a separate section later on. So let's go back to the start of the line here with this one which Oh dear, that's that's a performance issue right there. The mirrors are always on, which is not good. It's that sound is nice. I like that sound. Num enters info on. Left turn. That light's in the right position. Ah, there's little lights on the dashboard to tell you what. Ah! The, uh... That moves. Okay, number four is the left window. Oh dear! Is that the... S yeah. The left and right are backwards. So if I'm going to look left, I have to move the mouse, or my joystick right. And to look right, I have to move the mouse, or joystick left. That's... Yeah, that's an issue. Number four is the left window. Oh, it's a window. Okay. Number five is the back window. Number six is the rear work lights, which are mostly in the right position, but look a bit silly because he put halos on them. Number seven is the left door. Number eight is the right window for some reason, and number nine is the right door. He B is bop light? Why have you bound work light to B? Also, there's an invisible second set of lights there. Wonderful. M is capot. Has to open up the front of it, which. There's some okay animations there. And N is turnbuckle. What on earth is this doing? Oh, hang on, that's something at the back. It, ah, it adds a bottom hitch. That's going to be something I test. So let's close all this up. Check is their horn. That, yeah. Hang on, this hits something invisible. something invisible been spawned in here. Oh dear! Do you remember those lights I said might be a problem? Those weird collisions? Yeah, they are a problem. Um, they stay hanging around and if I'm correct they will just stop. Yeah, they've... Something that I've spawned in here has created invisible collisions. Um, that's an issue. Let's see, is there a front three point on this? Because there shouldn't be. No. Let's see how the rear three point reacts. Is there a beacon light? No, there isn't. Good. There shouldn't be. The rear three point. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's wrong. That's. 
We have three points too small. So yeah. The front suspension is really bouncy though. Good lord. That is a really bouncy suspension. This is alright, textures need a bit of work I think, but other than that, it's, it's passable, I guess. Let's have a look at this one now. This one also doesn't appear to have a... I like the sound of this one. Horn. Reasonable sounding horn. Does the beacon work? Yes. Do the mirrors work? No. Let's see. Keypad 7. Seven, nine. Oh, they open windows. Numpad seven and nine open windows. Uh, eight opens the back window. Numpad seven opens. Or numpad zero opens the roof. Uh, four and five open the doors. Six is the work light as usual. The indicators all work. Uh, what on earth is? Oh, that's to put on the engine covers. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to be an engine cover. Um, is there any way of putting on dual wheels? No, it looks like they're just an aesthetic thing for some reason. Uh, let's see, does this have the same... No, it does not have the same animations. The in-cab looks almost identical, however. Um, Let's have a look and see if the three point works. That's a lot of black smoke. Let's check for front three point first of all. And. I have a feeling that this random weight came with this. This random weight over here might have come with this. And it's gone into the ground. Wonderful. So uh, there's a magical front three point on this. Does the rear three point at least work well? Lights work really well. The th rear three point is too small as well. But hey, if you want something with a working drive shaft, this is a tractor for you. Again, it's a passable tractor, but there's nothing really spectacular. It works, but only just the same, pretty much the same as this. Uh, albeit this one has a ridiculously inflated price. This one is a bit more reasonable. Now this is something closer to what I want out of a Soviet-style tractor. It's something that looks and sounds old as hell. Let's see if the indicators work. It's really loud. Indicators do work. Oh. Numpad 5 opens the window here. Does Numpad 4 do anything? Opens this window. 7, 8, 9, 6 does nothing. Does it have a, does it have a horn? I do. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to turn down the sound. There we go. Uh, I don't have a fancy mixing board like some people, so I have to do it manually and I take off my headphones so I can actually hear. Does it have a horn? If it does, I can't hear it. Uh, do the lights work? Only the front ones. Yeah, the um, the fan inside does the move. Right and close. Whoa. Where on earth is this camera? Why would you put a camera here? This 
missing one bit. This one I can understand, but you get left to look back. That's, yes, I'm not trying to press this. Ah! <laughs> this is what happens when you turn on the beacon. You can indicate to the left if you really want to. Really um, that's a strange issue. Is there a mysterious point three point? No. Does it have to turn itself to the side of the sun? Yes. Does it have a walking rear three point? Is there a longer march path or just a walking rear three point? Yes. How does it work? Oh, come on. Please don't tell me the road. This track was doing really well up until then. Rear three point doesn't work. Let's have a look at this one, the uh, racing factor. Again, mirrors don't work. Sounds quite nice. Uh, let's go for the basics. Lights. Front lights work. Rear lights work. Top lights don't seem to work. Beacon. No. Cool. It does have a horn. Missing Stogas, Langas, and Stogas 2. Um, and um, um, Good. Um, and then we have Which indicators? Indicators work. Left door. Right door. We have 0. 5 is the sunroof. 6 is the work lights. 7. Nothing at oh, yeah. How close is the front? So eight is the rear window and nine is the entire front of the car. And again the fan doesn't work. Also I would say drive around with the sun is open because it looks like the fan's head is coming out. So it's cool here. Again, this very peculiar thing. Now this is front linkage. I think that's the front linkage. Yeah, this, this track now is just very great. Your three point is the same. Again, doesn't work. These are the, this is the reason I don't like using Eastern European style tractors. I love the little weirdos, but they don't work. Fan on this one does work, however. This is the most promising looking one. Yeah, except it's tilted backwards for some reason. Does the horn work? Yes. Is there a beacon of some description? No. Indicators. Yes. 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 Lights. After some lag, yes. Okay, so four left window, five right window, six of the rear work light. Right window's down twice, as is left window, that's amazing. Seven is the door, eight is the rear window, nine is that. And the work light at the front. Oh, that's nice that you can turn that on and off independently. And front loader console. So this is a front loader tractor, that's Interesting, let's have a check on the... Actually, the lock on this is quite nice. I like this one. Except for the fact that it's tilted back for whatever reason. Mysterious front linkage, come on, you're doing well so far. You're doing well so far. What's the in cab like? Does that all work? Does that all work? Uh... Guys, please make your mirrors work. That's a basic function within the game now. Modders should be doing at least as well with functions as giants. So tell me the three-point works at least. Nope, it's too thin. And I think too long as well. Where's that PTO going? I think the Russian or the Eastern Europeans make their tractors so small so that we can't see these kind of things. Yeah, the 
rear three point is way too small. Um, PTO goes into the right place, mostly. <sighs> Again, it's a bit of a letdown. All of these tractors are a bit of a letdown. All of them. These, however, I've seen them in use. They do start, start off in cab. With everything working the way it should, let's have a check out what works with this. Econ, yes. I'll, I'll let that pass because they've quite clearly been modified. Indicators. In <laughs> Unbelievably, yes. Four does nothing. Five does nothing. Six is the rear work light. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. No pad zero, just for the sake of it. And you can see the tractor is actually running the rear wheels on this. Um, Where's do. Oh, the mirrors are always on. That's potentially an issue if you've got less powerful computers. Some of these mods, you're really better off not having uh, powerful computers. And I've just realised there's a mod I wanted, a couple of mods, scripts I wanted to look at that I didn't put in. So you would be getting a second mod spot like this week. <laughs> where, uh, let's do it, I'll test out these guys. Because I'm going to have to move them up to the farm anyway. So the two PKC4s, this is kind of a... This is kind of a, a sneak preview of the next mod spotlight, I guess, because there's a couple, of, um, a couple of scripts I want to throw into the game uh, and check out. Uh, and the scripts that I'm going to be testing, they're going to be for pretty, uh, they're not recommended for low power computers. So they're, they're something that I want to test out for myself so that the videos are cool. Um, it does look like these wheels get dirty very, very quickly. <laughs> Either that or it started off like this. So... I'm gonna go quick run through. Oh. Never hire workers. You know what, that's good enough for the test. So a quick run through of the mods that I got. We had this Belarus, which is good, but needs a bit of work. Rear 3 point could do with a bit of work. Um, yeah, this one, which, if I'm correct, yes, this is the one that breaks the game. Uh, do not recommend. It is. It spawns in something invisible, and I don't know what one came with that weight that disappeared under the ground, but that's not recommended either. This one's, again, okay. These are all okay. Ex well, except this one. Rear three points on all of them need work. Uh, whichever one it was, I think it was this one, had the mysterious front three-point. That needs a bit of work. Otherwise, they're all okay mods. I won't be keeping any of them. Well, I'll be keeping them all um, in this mod folder and up at the farm. In my little display of mods that I've gone through. But that's about it. They're not something that I'll be making it into my other mod folder. They're not good enough. They're, they're just not good mods. Oh, they're, they're good mods. Don't get me wrong. They're good, they work, they function. There's log errors everywhere, and I'm not even going to try and isolate which one of these five tractors causes them, but... Actually, because of the log errors, I would say if you download this, have a clean mod folder, and just open up the log afterwards. See if that's one that has massive log errors. Two the end errors or nothing. That's just... a They've made a mistake while doing the, the shop window, the, the shop stuff. That's fine. But any other log errors shouldn't happen. That's just the long and the short of it. Log errors are when a modder gets lazy or doesn't know enough and makes, well, I'm not so bad mod. Um, FSUK will put up mods that have minor log errors. They're the silver standard mods on FSUK. If they've got small problems, they're silver standard. Gold standard FSUK, they're the ones that should run no problem at all, all the time. And, yeah, these just... I, I, I don't think these, any of these five would make it onto FSUK. 
The problems are just too big. They're good mods, but they're not good enough. Um, so, if you want to try any of them, feel free, I won't stop you, but I wouldn't recommend them. Um, until next time, I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching far your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Uh, there will be a bonus one, of course, because I didn't check out the two harvesters, and I want to get a couple of scripts in to look at as well. So, until then, stay safe, and goodbye.